Okay, to continue, as I was saying in the other video, in my experience, my nearly 50 years on this planet, grocery stores, because I've always admired this, I've always thought it was the coolest thing, grocery stores, talk about major grocery stores, I ima stores, I imagine mom and pop little stores would, would be different, but grocery stores just, they've always at least in my experience, they give you the benefit of the doubt. Like I was saying in the other video, a perfect example. I tell you, I call up and say, this this meat's bad or these vegetables are bad or whatever. And I've been told, uh, oh, don't even, just bring your receipt in. As in, we believe you, we're, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt, don't even bother to bring the product back. But me being me and not, and not wanting to have someone secretly think I'm making it all up, even though I know I'm not, I bring the product back. Because I've had them say, I'm like, yeah, these, are, these oranges are all rotten or whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, you, you don't have to even, just bring your receipt and we'll give you your money back. Benefit of the doubt, okay? Juxtapose this attitude that I've always experienced, even at grocery stores in different states and different whatever, okay? With, with what I experienced a couple months ago, which I'm not going to go over again because I said in the other video, and then last night, okay? So, I let let it go. I kept it in the back of my mind, but I'm still, when I've had to encounter this particular employee who's not a manager, she's just a regular employee, okay? She's not a supervisor, not a manager, nothing. Regular employee, okay? Who clearly, undeniably, I don't care. She could deny to Kingdom Come. I can tell. She does not like me. She had some chip on her shoulder. And it's maybe many months ago and she just didn't let it go. We had some kind of thing happen or whatever, okay? I don't know. I don't remember, but maybe that happened. Okay. When I got my chip card, I was kind of perturbed. You know, especially if I'm in a hurry, when cashiers should know. I mean, every system is different. You go to, to Walmart, you have it one system. You go to Target, you go to this, you go to that. You go to the grocery store, you go to, you know what I mean? We go to, and, and they're all different on how to use the chip card. All right? And if I use it, and when I want to use it as credit, well, as far as I'm concerned, the store should know how I do that. Because different stores are different. I mean, the employees should know. But whatever. I'm not perfect. I don't know what, what the deal with this woman is. All I know is she gives me an attitude, and I never experienced that before. I've never had grocery stores. They always give you the benefit of the doubt when it comes to returns. Okay? They go above and beyond. They don't want to alienate customers. They give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure there are times they're thinking, blah, 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 whatever. Um, probably not about me. I very rarely return anything, and I, like I said, I bring back the product. But they give you the benefit of the doubt, and they even, I've even been told on more than one occasion, oh, no, we don't want the rotten whatever, just, we don't want the rotten me, we just, just, you know, we don't want that, just, just bring the receipt in, that's all you have to do, just bring the receipt, you know? They've told me that. But do I do that? No, because I don't want anybody to think I'm lying. <laughs> That's just in life in general. I don't, I cannot stand to be accused of something I'm not doing or for people to secretly think I'm doing, whatever, okay? So, last night, as I started to tell you and then it cut off, okay? This one, this one shouldn't cut off. It's, it's new batteries and it has like 50 minutes on it. I don't want to go that long. I have to go to bed, but... <sighs> Now remember, always bear in mind, that's why I prefaced the end of the video with, you know, just in my experience at grocery stores where I was giving you the benefit of the doubt, always bear in mind that in grocery store world, you are allowed to return anything for any reason, okay? Now obviously, if two weeks have gone by and you're trying to return some old produce, I, I would never do that. They're going to say something. Some, some, some might. I'm telling you, I've known grocery stores that probably wouldn't even say something then. They don't want to alienate customers. But I don't do that, okay? But other stuff that, that's non-perishable? Okay? Anyway. So I wanted to bring this, this store brand salsa to my mom's. I really like the store brand salsa. And um, I wanted to bring it to my mom's. But... It was all thrown in one one doubled bag in its glass jars, and um, 
I had my reusable bag with me, and it was, it was, I, I wound up throwing the salsa into them, and then I, I just, you know, I didn't have much time at my mom's, I was sick all weekend, so I didn't get there early yesterday, and, um, I just forgot, I totally forgot, I gave her her perishables, cream cheese, um, milk, stuff like that, bananas, and I fucking forgot to give her the salsa. Okay. I totally forgot, which is understandable because it's for the future when I cook. It's not even something she uses, it's when I cook. Well, they're really heavy. So I'm on the bus, and, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to have this bus driver drop me off at the store, and I'm going to return these salsas. I don't want to walk home with them. I, I hurt myself this morning right here. I think I was reaching for something. I have to be careful of thong sandals. I think, anyway, I started hurting right there, and I'm like, fuck that shit. My mom needs milk and stuff. I, I have to get this to her, and it, it wound up being fine. I was like, I'm like, I'm not going to give in to that. It, it was just a tiny little pain, and it was fine when I walked. It was fine. Um, thank God. Anyway, I can buy this salsa anytime. Okay. By the way, this woman always gives me an attitude. She's not a kid either. She gives me an attitude. Um, but I just ignore it, and I'm still friendly, and I'm still, you know, um, because, you know, the rotten organic potato incident really just shocked me, because I never had anyone give me a hard time about anything, you know, like, you give someone a hard time if they're returning things left and right, like every other day or something, which I hardly, hardly, hardly compared to what I buy, I return like nothing, you know, what the fuck is wrong with her? So anyway, I'm returning the four jars that I bought of salsa. I don't want to walk home with them. I'm not going to, my bag is heavy. It's hurting me. I'm, you know what I mean? It's like, and while I'm doing that, I'm busy telling you, you know, yeah, I, I love, I love this salsa, you know, it, it comes in hot and it's cheap, and I'm just telling her, and I told her why I was returning it, I'm like, yeah, I just bought this a few hours ago, I just went, went to my mom's on the bus, I forgot to give it to you, and I'm trying to be friendly, trying to be human, you know, I forgot, so whatever, smiling, you're not going to believe what she said to me. You know what she said to me? I couldn't even believe it. I reported it. I wanted to talk to management. Instead, I talked to an employee. I don't know if she, what she's considered. She's higher up than like a cashier or whatever. But she's def. I mean, she's, I don't know. She's obviously higher up because afterwards she totally agreed with me. And I've known her for years. And you know what I mean? I try to be human. Okay, you're in the position of, of you're 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 the you're an employee at the store, employee at the store, and I'm a customer. But we could be human, you know. That's why I said, yeah, I, I'm returning this because I don't want to walk with it. It's heavy, and you know. You know what the woman said to me? She goes. She goes snide. We have to throw all these away, you know. My jaw dropped. I'm like, and she's lit, putting the little stickers on them, and and I'm like, I'm like, why? They're not open. They're they're they're. Why do you have to? She's like, oh, because we we that's our policy. You know, we have to put them back in the the whatever. Um, we don't know if you did something to them. Are you fucking kidding me, you fucking cunt? How dare you say this shit to me? My, my wheels are spinning. I'm like, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I thought grocery stores, if you return something unopened that's like a jar of tomato sauce that whatever, it cannot be tampered with. It has a little pop-up thing. Okay? It's unopened, untampered. I'd never heard of that before. But I was so offended. I was just like, and then she she's making me, I said, you know, they usually give me back cash, and she's like, well, well, it says it says credit on the receipt. I'm like, I know it's a debit card, and ever since it went to a chip card, they've had to, you know, certain places. Um, 
Even, and she, and then she's giving me a hard time about that. She's like, she makes me go through the motions. I'm like, they always give me. She instead of giving me, she's like, they always give me back cash. And I was like, um, which I didn't even know. I had to find find that out. I thought it had to go back on the card. And there are places like Walmart where you want it back on the card, and they're like, we can't do it. Ever since the chip card, it's like, even if it's a, it's a debit, it's a debit card, you use a credit, but it's, they have to, they, they view it as a, they, you have, they have to give you cash back. I don't know why. And Macy's, it has to go back on the card. That's just the opposite. They won't give you cash if you've used it as a credit, you know, if you've used your debit card as a credit. I think they would give you cash if you used it as a debit, but it is a debit card, okay? I don't fucking care. Give me cash. Give me credit. Whatever. But she's like, and in the very end, as we go through the whole process, as I told her up front, you have, you know, they always give me cash. She she gives me cash, and she's like, yeah, I have to do, I have to do it as cash because it's a debit card. Isn't that what I told you in the beginning, bitch? All right. I think this happened after. Because first I'm returning the, the committing the crime, and as I later talked to this woman I've known for years, she's like, she's like, she said, I, she's like, I can't believe she said, she's like, she said that to you. I'm like, I'm like, and she, we were talking, and she was, she was human with me, not like, oh, this is my fellow employee, I'm not going to say one more, you know? She's like, she's like, yeah, even if someone, even if you've changed your mind, you're allowed to return something. And I say no, but I wanted to talk to a manager too because I, is that your policy to throw away? tampered with it's like God, why did she say that to me and she's like I don't know I'll talk to her I'm like yeah but you're not a manager and I'm like I think I'm gonna write a letter seriously oh that's this is the second time in 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 just a few months that this woman has given me a hard time I don't want to return anything if she's up there anymore it's like if I ever have to return anything again I'm not gonna deal with her I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I you know I'm gonna say I want to have a manager process this return. This woman you know I'll tell them bluntly tell the manager why. Because since I return things so rarely, this could be many months from now or something. But how dare she? How dare she say? First she's like, first of all, if that is your policy to throw away perfectly good friggin' food, and and then the woman was like, well, was it out in the heat? I'm like I was only, I was on the air conditioned bus there back and at my mom's for for like short amount of time this air conditioning it wasn't out in the heat but even being out in the heat it's a it, those things are are party it's a jar of friggin who knows what happens to it in the warehouse or whatever it's it's you, you can't do anything to it. You know what I mean? If it had been perishables that I bought and forgot to give to my mom, I wouldn't return them. I'd walk home with them. To me, it's like, I'll just... And she said that to me. How dare she? I can think of more than one person in my life who's been in my life, might not be in my life now, right, who would not put up with that, who would say back to her, like, well, what do you tell me for? If it is your store's policy to throw away, put in the garbage, perfectly good food that cannot be tampered with, okay, then that's your policy. You're not supposed to say to me and make me feel guilty for wasting food I never imagined in a million years you would throw away in the first place, bitch. Number one. Number two, it's not coming out of your pocket. How dare she say that to me? But she didn't just say, you know, we have to, um, we have to throw all these away, you know. How dare you? I know the woman I talked to. I mean, she's not my friend or anything, okay? But I've known her for a long time. Unlike is the case with this woman, right? Not that she's new. Um, but remember, a lot of people can be new when I've been going to the store for six years, okay? But anyway, she agreed with me. She's like, she's like, even if a person, even if you change your mind, you're, I'm like, I have every right to return these. Why the snide comments? Accusatory. And then I wanted to know, is that your policy? And she's like, no, it's only with perishables. Then why did she say that to me? 
And I said, I'm like, she has a chip on her shoulder. She doesn't like me. I said it. I don't care. It's not me being paranoid. This woman does not like me. She gives me an attitude. Okay? I can at least, even though it was ridiculous they never experienced anything like that before, the thing with the organic rotten potatoes, at least that was perishable where she felt like they, that I shouldn't be returning them because I'd had them too long. I felt like they should have not gone bad so quickly. It's still customer's right, benefit of the doubt kind of thing. It wasn't weeks. It was like six days. I thought potatoes last longer than that. They've, I always thought that they do. I thought you can have potatoes for a long time. Maybe organic potatoes are different, but the fact is, if I'm unaware of that, and I'm not constantly buying and returning potatoes, you give me the fucking benefit of the doubt. That's what grocery stores do. It's an unwritten rule. But you certainly don't act like I'm wasting food. How dare I return this stuff that I have every right to return? Like, like the woman, that woman that I've known for years agreed with me, even if you change your mind. I'm like, I know. I was joking with her. I was up front. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to walk with this. It's too heavy for me. You know? And she made that smart-ass comment. Not just one. Offensive. Like, we have to throw this all away, you know. We have to throw all these away, you know. I'm like, what? But she's not supposed to say that to me. You understand? If that's your store's policy, it's stupid. But, pfft, no. Like, if Vita class is better class glass shipping policy so what do you want but I couldn't imagine it really was the store policy I'd never heard of that but she's supposed to keep it to herself regardless that's the thing and then I said I said but it's would that's your policy to return I know but she's like she's like we have to we don't know if you've done something to it pardon me bitch how dare you say that to me you can't tamper with it, people. As I told the woman, she's like, I'm like, can you tell if something's like that that has a pop-up seal? You can, I didn't know how you tell. You can tell if it's been opened, right? She's like, yeah, there's a way to tell. I'm like, why did she say that shit to me? She's like, I don't know. I'll talk to her. And then I'm wise, and I'm like, you are not a manager. See? You talking to her doesn't mean it's going to get to management. It means which was why I came home here. And it's late now because I spent a couple hours writing a letter. I actually, I'm going, I wrote a long, long, I poured my heart out all about all the, the good things. Like compare even at this store where I've gotten the benefit of the doubt or at other stores or whatever. And then this woman treats me like crap, like accusatory, snide. Can you, can you imagine, I, like I said, I won't name names, but I can think of at least a couple of people who have been in my life who, if they, someone said a cashier, or they're trying to return something, they have every right to return. It's not even a perishable, okay? It's a freaking jar of salsa, tomato sauce, whatever. It's, it's the kind that, that you cannot tamper with it. It's completely sealed up. And I just bought it that day, just a, you know, just a few hours before. Okay, I mean, can you? I I know there are people who'd be like, part of me. That's you know, but me, we have to throw all these away, you know, huh? A, Y, B, if you do, why the fuck are you saying that to me? I have every right, you know, how dare you make me feel guilty over wasting food I never imagined a million years would be thrown away in the first place. It's sealed. It has a pop-up seal. It can't be tampered with. Okay? I just bought it today a few hours ago. Which I know, knowing, I know you looked at the receipt. If you're the type of game in our time over the, you know, thinking that I spent, I didn't return the organic rotten potatoes in time, and then, you know, I'm trying to get away with something. Yeah, I'm sorry, a $5 bag of potatoes isn't going to break me, bitch, okay? I'm a long-time customer at this store, you understand? And the woman I spoke with. She's not, I don't know what they, they consider her. She's, she's not a cashier. She's not whatever. Cause, but whatever she is, she's at least in the position she can, even if she's, I, I think she'd probably call her a supervisor if she didn't call her, I don't know. But she, she said she was going to talk to that woman. I said to her, 
I, I, I kept her attention for a while. I don't care. I'm like, I'm like, she listened to me. She probably, at some point, she's like, I'm sure I get tired of hearing me and repeat myself or whatnot. She's like, do you want me to get the manager? I'm like, no. I'm, I just said, you know, this isn't a he said, she said. Because if you talk to her, what excuse can she give? And I'm like, you're going to see. I'm gonna, she's like, that's not our policy. I'm like, why does she do that? But if it is your policy, it's not, I know damn well it's not your policy to say anything to me. You keep your snide comments to yourself. And if you, you, you can think them all you want, but you don't say them to the customer. She knows. She knows. She totally agreed with me. She's not a kid either. And I said, I said, you see, I mean, I'm not a kid. I've been around for quite some time, and I know you have as well. I've never in my life thought that any supermarket returns stuff that's unopened, that can't be tampered with, like a jar, or, you know what I mean, or a can or whatever, okay? And I said, just bought them. Now, she did it on purpose, people. She doesn't like me. She didn't even wait till I left to be putting the little stickers on them. As she's putting one, two, she, we have to we, we have to throw all these away, you know. My jaw dropped. And then, of course, I'm asking, but why they're not? They're they're. I just bought them and they're they're sealed up. They can't be tampered. Then, well, that's our policy. We have to put them out back, and and they get thrown away. We don't know if you've done something to them. Oh my God, you fucking cunt. I let it go with the rotten potato, organic potato incident. I'm not letting this go. I composed two letters. One, I want to type up and give to corporate. And that's a really detailed letter that talks about the nice experiences I've had with grocery stores, including this one, giving me the benefit of the doubt above and beyond I would expect them to. Okay? compared to how this woman has treated me on two separate occasions in a relatively short period of time. And then I wrote a shorter letter that I'm not going to type up. That I'm go oh, and this woman's cool because she said, I'll get an answer and I'll tell you. I'm like, oh, wow. Normally you don't get to know what, you know. Normally, oh, we'll talk to the person, but we're not going to tell you what we said or what went down or whatever. She said she would. She said, I'll find out for you. I said, this is not a he said, she said, Diane. This is, this woman just did this, and I needed to talk to a manager right now. I talked to you instead, which I know which manager was on, so I was probably better off talking to her instead, because the male manager probably wouldn't have wanted to listen to me what she did, and I wanted to vent. No. <laughs> Which I have every right to do. I mean, and the thing is, while she's busy being snide to me, like, like, I mean, in the, I mean, I'm sitting there, even though I have, like I said, she, she, she's not, she, she has an attitude towards me. I'm an HSP. I told you that. I know when someone has an attitude towards me, but I, I rise above it. And I was friendly, and I was joking, and I was human, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm returning these. I just, I, you know, I don't want to walk home with them. They're really heavy, and, and I forgot to give them to my mom's. I went on the bus. You know, I'm telling her all this stuff. And how she responds to my human explanation that I didn't have to give to her, by the way. I have every right to return these things that I just bought, okay? I didn't have to give her any explanation. Her response is, we have to, we, we have to throw all these away, you know. But, so twofold why I wanted to talk to the manager. Number one, do you really throw away unopened products that cannot be, that you can prove have not been touched? And you can prove I didn't, you know, again, benefit of the doubt. I didn't go home and exchange them for some old ones I had on the, you know what I mean? You can look at the expiration date. I mean, it's bullshit. Everything she did is not even remotely giving me the benefit of the doubt. She clearly has an attitude towards me. She doesn't like me. Do I know why? I don't. I don't. But she's obviously holding some type of grudge that, that involves something that I don't remember because she would not be treating me this way. I've never been on the receiving end of that regarding returning products because you have a right to return anything you want. Okay? I 
I've even, I mean, I've pushed, pushed it before. I've returned stuff before that I can, that I've had a while. They weren't expired, of course. Um, I've done that before, and then I would expect to get a little bit of an attitude, but they, they still took them back, you know. But something like this. Oh, and then one time when, when that whole shit, when I didn't have any money at all, um, I returned canned products. I returned canned products that, that um, again, that I knew would go back on the shelf. And I actually thought all products that they can't put back on the shelf, they return to the... Um, the manufacturer or something because I was saying to her when she's like we have to throw this away you know and I'm like oh I thought first of all I, you don't put it back on it's not it's, she's like oh we don't know if you did something to it I'm like well you'd, I thought you guys return them to the manufacturer and get you no we throw them away we put them in the oh fuck you bitch if that's the store's policy it's ridiculous it turns out it's not the store's policy she was just trying to make me feel bad for not walking home with the heavy salsa for ex exercising my right to return any goddamn thing I please particularly an unopened non-perishable jar of totally tamper proof sealed salsa that I just bought like three hours prior I went to my mom's and didn't stay that long you understand it's like a few hours prior Yeah, last time I was this pissed, this pissed, I was at a um, different grocery store where a kid, and in the end, I dropped it. I didn't, um, I didn't write a letter. I gave a manager that I knew an earful about how this kid should not treat me that way, and I'm a good customer, so that, whatever. Basically, um, it was a grocery store that has a policy if something rings up wrong you get it free which I have every right to take advantage of that right so to this kid I was holding up the fucking line over because my, my something had rung up like a dime oh, that, that's not the point I was holding up the line over over that and he's like oh I'll go out to my car and get a, get you a dime oh I was pissed off at that I said something smart, like, like, but the fact is, I have the right, if, you know, if grocery stores have products that ring up wrong, I have the right to get, take advantage and get the product free. It's not about the dime. It could be a $5 product that's ringing up a dime, you know, more than it's supposed to, and I get the fucking product free. You understand? I get it free. It had nothing to do with the dime. I got the product for free. Of course we're going to wait for a manager, but to him, I'm holding up the line over a dime. No, 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 asshole. I'm holding up the line because you guys have to, grocery stores have to not program their products incorrectly. And everyone can make mistakes, but back in um, California, Ralph's was actually caught intentionally. It was a whole big scandal where they were intentionally marking products. Um different they would they would they were intentionally having discrepancies where products were ringing up the wrong price in the register okay they were ringing up um, more than they were said the price shelf price and they got caught eventually I remember this um, I believe it was Ralph's I think another but anyway that's why they have that and that's why they'll have things where you get it for free to try to make sure they they stay on the on the up and up and whatever and, and and are careful to mark their products, make sure that price on the shelf matches in the computer. And um, there's lots of stores that you get it for free. Okay. In fact, I think I found out. I always thought stores did that. And I thought that was a nice thing they do. And I found out it's actually a law. Maybe not everywhere, but here in Massachusetts, it's a law that if it rings up wrong, they have to give it to you for free. Okay. And actually, some employees aren't even aware of that because um, it has to do with groceries. It's not everything. It's just groceries. Well, oh my God, 
um, a while back a Target manager um, gave me a huge fucking hard time. I couldn't even believe the hard time he was giving me. He's like, well, I don't even have to do this, whatever. It's the law. The sign is up at your service desk. It's the law giving me a fucking huge hard time because most people don't know that rule. And they, because first he's, he was like, oh, well, because it was, it was like a 20 cents difference. I was buying um, hood, uh, it was a specialty thing, eggnog or something. And he's like, He's like, oh, well, I'll just give you, you know, I'll just take the 20 cents off. I'm like, no, you have to give it to me for free. And he's like, no, I don't. That's at my discretion. I'm like, no, it isn't. And I had to, we had to go through this whole shit where I had to show him the sign and all this crap. And in the end, he should be aware of it. Well, you bet your sweet ass that I called. I called. And I gave an earful. Um, I don't know if, I think he was, whatever he was. I made sure, I'm like, I don't want to talk to him. Because I called up and I said, I want to speak to a manager and I don't want it to be, he was, um, I could say who he was. He was African American black and a male, you know, he was African American black and a male. So, yeah, treated me like total fucking shit. Oh, he had disdain for me up the yin yang. Fuck you! I didn't make this law. I have a right to take advantage of it, you motherfucker. No. he was a manager or a supervisor. Maybe he was a supervisor. I think he was a supervisor. Maybe he was a manager. Whatever. He needs to be aware of that shit. And when I called up, I spoke to somebody in, um, oh, maybe it was human resource. I spoke to somebody who said, yeah, he'll get spoken to or whatnot. He, that, you're right. That's our policy. And she knew. And, and like, like, don't treat me like that. Okay. But again, that's an isolated incident. I have to ever go there. I go to this friggin' store all the fucking time. I don't want to even deal with this woman anymore. I don't. If she's a cashier, I can just not go to her line, which I will do. But if I have to go to the service desk for something and she's up there, I'm, I'm going to not do it. Because now she's going to know I complained about her. Okay? And unfortunately, most people in this life, you complain about them, they're not going to acknowledge that they were wrong. They're just going to hate you. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm sure there are people who have, you know, pushing it. They're trying to return something that's kind of too old and, you know, and they, they forgot to eat it and whatever. But stores generally give you the benefit of I've never done anything like that. But come on. Sealed salsa that has a tamper-resistant pop-up thing, okay, that I just bought a few hours ago. You're putting little stickers on them. We have to throw all these away, you know. Is that my problem? My wheels are turning in the back of my head. I'm like, is that really their policy? i got to talk to a manager about that and about how, and when I'm saying, like, why are we, we don't know if you did something. Ooh, you crossed the line, bitch. You crossed the line big time. Now I'm going to file a formal written complaint to corporate. I'm not putting up with this shit. I let it go. The organic potato, that rotten potato thing where she gave me a hard time over that, I let that go, right? This I'm not letting go. This I am not letting go, people. No. I'm not going to have her treat me like that. I don't deserve it. I'm a good customer. It's not fair to me. I have the right to return any goddamn thing I please, but especially something that's non-perishable that you should, as far as I've known my entire life, of adult life, you put back on the shelf. And if you don't, that's your store's business. But don't put the burden on me and accuse me, you know, of wasting food. Jesus fucking Christ.